Hi guys, this is Jeff at Slavens Racing. This video is about my top three rear tire choices for gnarly trails. If you're riding easier trails um, or racing motocross, high speed desert, you know, a lot of a dual sport, a lot of other applications like that, then these probably aren't the best options for those. But for trail riding, these are all extremely hard to beat. Especially the gnarlier the trail, the better these tires work. So I've got three of my bikes here, 300 on the right, 500 in the middle, and 250 on the left. I'm going to start over here with the lowest price point tire, and that will be the Shinko 505 Cheater. So this is a gummy tire. And, you know, in the last few years, a lot of gummy tires have hit the market. And there's definitely some other ones out there I haven't tested yet. I'll get to here before too long. But uh, for this price point, this tire is in the 60, mid 60 to 70 dollar price range. So that would be uh, definitely a, a low uh, entry price tire. This tire works extremely well. It's got the lightest carcass out of all three of these, so it might be more prone to punctures if you're riding, uh, using tubeless. Um, and it's probably not as stable as the other two tires in this uh, video, but because it's, it is a lighter carcass, and so it might have a little bit more wiggle to it. But for hardcore, rocky, rooty uh, trails, that don't have a lot of mud because this tire is a, a fairly closed pattern um, which means it's not as good for mud but for all other conditions this tire is pretty damn hard to beat there's uh, one on the left that's got some miles on it a new one in the middle there this tire does have the the tallest uh, profile of the three so it could Possibly make your bike, uh, you know, it's going to raise the back end up. Could make it steer better, could make it steer worse. You might have to um, adjust the preload just a hair to compensate for that, but usually not. Next one uh, here in the middle on my 500 is the, IR, is the um, Motaz Arena Hybrid Gummy. I made a video about this tire last year. I absolutely love this tire. And you guys are going to want to know what's my favorite out of these three. I'd have to lean to, the, to this one. It has exceptional traction. It has great braking. Uh, it's very versatile because it's got an open pattern. It works well on the rocks and the roots. Slimy conditions. Even it's not bad in mud uh, and sand. And it's very stable. It's got a really uh, a pretty beefy carcass. Now, all these types of tires, you know, they're called hybrids. Um, they typically, these hybrid tires typically have a reasonably stiff sidewall and then a flexible crown. So this is the crown area. So a crown that you can push in fairly easily. And that flex gives them more traction it's not just the rubber compound, but it's the, also the carcass construction that gives them more uh, traction. Then over here we have the IRC VE33S. S stands for sticky, which means it's a gummy compound. Now all three of these tires, I test them with my durometer here. All three of these tires um, are in the mid-50s range. The Shinko is a 55. This one runs about 57 to 58 durometer. And these run around 55 as well. So this one in the middle here has got a, over 400 miles on it. The one on the left only has uh, about 45 miles on it. And of course there's a new one. These little dimples disappear fairly quickly. Uh, so it looks like, you know, it's going to wear out quickly when you see those go away so fast. But then it gets down to this, and it just kind of stays there for a long time. You can see that uh, not a huge difference between the mile, tire with 40 miles and the one with 400 miles. 
just by the way, you know, I test and test and test and test tires. I go through over 40 tires a year. I do this for myself and I do it for you guys. I mean, when I say for myself, I want the best tire there is for what I do. So, of course, I'm testing for me. But I also like to find things, products, tires especially, that work for my customers. We've got a broad customer base that, you know, they ride in a lot of different conditions. These tires will work well for the majority of trail riders out there. Whether you're a hard enduro rider, or just a casual rider, or somewhere in between. So, let's see, let's get back to some of the basics here for a minute. The Shinko has the uh, lightest weight carcass. I would say that these, uh, the V33 and the Motaz are kind of tied as far as carcass durability. Now for guys who run tubeless, I run tubeless, and I test these tires between 4 and 6 PSI, excuse me, 4 and 8 PSI typically. But for guys who run real low pressures, 2, 3, 4 pounds on these Motaz uh, arena hybrid gummies, in the past, uh, a few guys had problems with cutting them right here in the bead. So the bead was, they've recently changed this construction. The bead in the past was, I mean, there was more of a deep channel here, and that was designed to protect your, your rim. And uh, so they, I ran into the owner of the company last year at a trade show, and I asked him to address this issue because I love this tire and I want to run it at low pressure. But if you cut one right there in that area, in the, in the bead, well then, you know, it's pretty well junk at that point. You, you can sometimes kind of patch it to get it out, uh, get back to the truck, but the tire is kind of a throwaway then. But that's only for guys who run real low pressures, you know, two to four pounds typically. For guys who ran more pressure, like eight to 10 PSI, or, uh, with tubeless, they didn't have problems, and guys, of course, with tubes or mooses didn't have problems. But we've addressed that issue. So uh, that was last fall, and it's taken, you know, a long time to get uh, put uh, the design change and then put into production and then shipped across the ocean. So here we are in July, and now we've got them. And we have all of them. I bought all of them that came in on the first shipment. So if you want this particular tire, give us a call. We've got them in stock. The arena or the uh, IRC carcass uh, is, doesn't seem to have any issues. It's a good beefy carcass for a hybrid style tire. So let's get down to the nuts and bolts here, guys. All these tires do the job. The all they all give excellent performance. The Shinko, because of the closed pattern, isn't quite as versatile. The other two tires, because they have more open patterns, probably don't have quite the grip of the Shinko in just extreme conditions. I mean, if you're just trying to get up like some slick rock, something like that. But overall, um, you know, my top pick out of these three would be the Motaz. Second would be the IRC, and then third would be the Shinko. I'm sure there's going to be guys out there disagree with me on that. This is uh, definitely a hot topic. Guys are always all over the board on what they like on tires. These are just my choices. And for you guys who have used my choices in the past, you know that I uh, do a pretty good job at picking out tires for the right application. Guys, I almost forgot to mention about uh, tire pressures and bib mooses, how they can affect the performance and the wear of the tire. So I just would like to tell you about a scenario I ran into a couple years ago. I, was, uh, I had my brand new Shinko Cheater, that tire right there, on my 300, and I was riding with another guy on a 300. He had the exact same tire. Uh, I was running the tubeless at about five PSI, and he had a brand new Moose, I don't remember what brand it was, but I felt this tire, you know, it was very firm. It felt like 15, 16 PSI of pressure. And all day long when we'd get to the, 
to the gnarly climbs and uh, step ups and some of that type of stuff. He was struggling and constantly spinning his tire. I got right up him. What was the difference? Was that he had what was effectively 15, 16 PSI and I had five. Uh, we had the same bikes, we both had auto clutches and similar uh, skill levels, yet he struggled all day long. And at the end of the day, my tire looked great and his tire looked completely trashed because he'd been spinning it, he had not gotten any traction because of being overinflated. So, you know, if, if you overinflate your tires, a lot of guys come to Colorado to trail ride in the summertime from other states and they're so paranoid about getting flats that they run 15, 16 or more pounds of air and then they bounce down the trail and have no traction. Uh, I mean, I'd stay home before I do that. So consider uh, running lower pressures with tubeless or the nitro soft mousse. The, the soft mousse really helps with the performance. Um, whereas regular mousses have their own advantages, but the disadvantage is, is when they're new, the traction is poor because they are so firm. So just something to think about when you're uh, setting up your bike. So all of them give decent mileage. The Shinko probably uh, the shortest service life tire. This tire here on my 500 has got uh, about 600 miles on it. This IRC in the middle here has got over 400 miles on it. And I know some of you guys are thinking, well, I get 1,500 miles out of my tires. Well, good for you. I'm lucky to, I'm always happy if I get 400 miles out of a tire in our conditions. We have extreme conditions here in Colorado and that causes accelerated tire wear compared to other parts of the country. So anyhow, you can't go wrong with any of these guys. V33S, Motaz Arena Hybrid Gummy, Shinko 505 Cheater, all great choices. Hope this helps you out a little bit. Please take care of your trails, become a trail ambassador. And below on this video, I'll put links to these tires, as well as um, maybe some other information. Please join our uh, pages like Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. It's all for now.